In this video I will help you set up different two-factor authentication methods for Windows using Mini Orange Dashboard. Two-factor authentication is a two-step verification security process in which a user has to present username and password along with other factors like smartphone, security token, OTP, to gain access to an account or a computer system. Mini Orange provides easy-to-use two-factor authentication for secure login to your site. It replaces insecure passwords and adds a second layer of security to your site access which is easy to set up for any developer or user. Mini Orange Authentication Service works with all phone types, from landlines to smartphone platforms. You can choose from over 15 plus authentication methods. After login into the Mini Orange Admin Dashboard you can view the list of all the users in the Users section. You can either set up the 2FA method for individual users, or groups of users. Now let's see, how to set up 2FA methods, for all the users one by one. First push notification method. In this method the user receives a push notifications on his mobile which he needs to accept or deny. Let's log in using one of the user's credentials. Select the Mini Orange Push option and click on Next button. After this, Mini Orange Push notification is prompted as a two-factor method. You will receive a request for authorization on the registered mobile app. You have to accept the transaction request to validate identity or you can deny the request if it's not you. Here you have successfully logged into your Windows application. Now let's set up the next method, that is Mini Orange Soft Token, for the other user. In this method, user needs to enter the 6 to 8 digit numeric key received on his mobile. To set this method, you need Mini Orange Authenticator app, installed on your smartphone. Sign in with the login credentials of the selected user. Select the Mini Orange Soft Token option and click on the Next button. Here you need to enter the 6 digits code generated in your registered Mini Orange Authenticator app. Then click on the Next button. You have successfully logged into the Windows application using soft token method. Next method is OTP over SMS method. In this method, user receives an OTP over SMS containing a 6 to 8 digit numeric key. Let's set up this method for the other user. Sign in with the login credentials of the selected user. Select the OTP over SMS option and click on the next button. Enter the OTP received on the registered phone and click on the next button. You have successfully logged into the Windows application using OTP over SMS method. Next method is OTP over email. In this method, user receives an email containing a 6 to 8 digit numeric key which he needs to enter to use services which are granted to him. Let's try and set up this method for our next user. Sign in with the login credentials of the selected user. Select the OTP over email option and click on the next button. Enter the OTP received on the email address specified, and click on the next button. You have successfully logged into the Windows application using OTP over email method. Next method is Google Authenticator. In this method, user needs to enter six digits passcode generated by Google Authenticator app. For the installation of this method, you first need to install the Google Authenticator app. Let's try and set up this method for our next user. Sign in with the login credentials of the selected user. Select the Google Authenticator option and click on the Next button. Here you need to enter six digits code from your Google Authenticator app. And then click on the Next button. You have successfully logged into the Windows application using Google Authenticator method. Next method is Offline Authenticator. By using Offline Authenticator, an end user is able to authenticate even if no internet connection is available. An internet connection is required when logging in for the first time using this method, so that the server can validate the user's credentials. To set this method you need Mini Orange Authenticator app installed on your smartphone. User just have to enter 6 to 8 digit numeric key generated on this app. Let's try and set up this method for our next user. Sign in with the login credentials of the selected user. Select the Offline Authenticator option. Here you need to enter six digits code and then click on the Validate. You have successfully logged into the Windows application using Offline Authenticator method. 
I hope I was able to make you understand what are the different 2FA methods and how to set up each of them for Windows application. Thank you for watching this video. For more information drop us a query on info at zakurify.com for any other question.